went down a little deeper. He was up high for a second. You should pop into it. See him there? He's coming to your fly a little bit. He's right at 12, 15 feet in front of the bow. It's gonna be a short shot now. Way to make that work. Spin in the boat, Chief. Spin in the boat. On the reel? On the reel. Today's guest, Flats Class YouTube, is D Roz. You know him as our cameraman. Our cameraman boat operator is what he is. But he's also a good friend and client. And we're getting ready to show you something that I don't know if you're really going to want to see, but we'll let Dale do a little talking about it. But let's just get this fish in the boat first. We are back in Dale's favorite place in the world to go fly fishing for redfish, and that is Venice, Louisiana. Absolutely epic. It's epic here. It is absolutely epic every time. For big fish, eat ugly flies. Yeah, or big fish eat but ugly flies. I like this. I like this size fish. Look how, I mean, these fish are gorgeous in here in this hydrilla. Absolutely gorgeous. I will come down and give you a hand. Let me put the power pole down. Going down and I'm getting down. grab this this guy wow he's a lot bigger than i thought he was told you they'll fool you yeah they'll definitely fool you oh i don't want to grab the tip of that rod Probably a perfect 27 inch fish if I put them on the, on the aqua traction measuring board, but let's get your fly out. Look how heavy he is. I mean, just a fat red fish for the size. Get, don't want to damage this custom. this custom hook, custom fly. I mean, why don't we get a quick pick with you? All right. Yeah, Feels strong in my hand, the tail's nice and firm. I just wanted to get her bearings. Wait, wait, I want you to make sure you're good. I feel you wanting to swim away. Off she goes. Yes! That's awesome. Just awesome. All right, today on Flats Class YouTube, welcome back. I've got Dale Rosnowski. Dale's a good friend, he's a client, and uh, sometimes he's the actual camera boat um, operator for us in many of the shots that we do, shows that we do on Flats Class Television. Um, but today, we're here in Venice, Louisiana, and we are catching redfish on ugly flies. We're gonna explain that in a second, but we're gonna have to first release this fish. He wants to go. There he goes. That's how it happens. That's how it goes. So, the topic today, we're, we're going to fish a lot of stuff, but um, since we're throwing fly with Dale, we're going to talk about why redfish eat 
ugly flies. Big ugly flies at that. Why do you think that is? Other than the fact, Dale, that that's all you like to tie is ugly flies. But I mean, what do you think that is? Pushing water, visibility, probably a lot of those things here. Yeah, I mean, I think that it, it moves the water around them. I think when they uh, when they hear it come by in that water, they see those bright colors. They just can't resist it. I think yeah. they just smash it. Yeah. So in other words, it's about visibility. And when you can't make a perfect cast, it helps to have a big old ugly fly. So let's do some more of this. When you're fly fishing, so much of this is a hunt game. It's not like when you're picking up light tackle, conventional gear, spin, or plug rods where you're, you can broadcast constantly. This game, you literally have to see the fish. You're not blind casting. You have to know where the head of the fish is because you got to feed them. So the level of difficulty is a little greater. And one of the ways to mitigate that is with those big, loud, well, quite honestly, ugly flies, which Dale's going to prove for us over and over again today. Right, Dale? Absolutely. <laughs> Nice. You're not moving it. There you go. Woo! That is a stud. Nicely done. I think you got the hook in him. He ate the green shrimp, baby. You like the green shrimp? Yep, we are on. I like it. That was a hot fish though. I mean, yeah. he was a hot, hot fish. Hot fish. I like that we got him out here on the sand flat too, man. Wow. I'm gonna stay That's up really here. That, that is... A full grown redfish right there. Yeah, this one here is going to be our, uh, our biggie. Fly fishing is fun in Louisiana. It really is. If you like, and we just, we had made a change from the Grinch shrimp fly because we were feeling like it wasn't seeing enough love. We'd only caught a few. So we are like, we gotta find something that works better. We made three more changes and then we're back at the Grinch fly and look what happens. We're hooked up. We're hooked up on the Grinch fly. Grinch shrimp. Man, we had to hunt that, that guy down like a tiger. <laughs> I felt like I was pulling to get you a shot on a tarpon. That was crazy. You know, I was pulling as fast as I could and then he just checked up because he ate something and he gave you the shot. Just that little bit of hesitation. Yep, and he was there. And he, it was there. He, I mean, he just about rolled over to eat it, too. Oh, I know. He went sideways to get it. Oh, my word. Is that not a pig? That is a pig. That is a pig redfish. Pig of a redfish. I will be, I'm going to stick us in a minute. I just don't want you having to go do the roundy rounds on the boat. Wow. That made it worth it. I'm gonna put the power pole down, at least now, just so you can kind of wail on them a little bit with that stick. We're fishing with eight weight tackle, ladies and gentlemen. Just eight weight tackle, that's it. Oof. I may, I may get down, Chief.
Oh, man. What a stud. I know. That dude is a pig. He's still, I mean, he's still tail pumping away. I mean, big time tail pumps. I'm gonna run and get my other camera. We'll be right back here. I'm telling you, Dale, I mean, conventional or fly, this may be your biggest fish in Louisiana. Absolutely. I just want to be able to get my mitts on them here. I know you're close. All right, here we go. Just fighting so hard. He does not want to give it up. No, Every doesn't. time I think he's going through, he's like, nope, I'm not done. No, I'm not done. I'm not done. The Grinch fly, baby. Oh, I'm guessing this fish is well, well over 40 inches. Oh yeah. Oh. All right, we're gonna do a quick measurement here on my aqua traction board that only goes to 36. And then we'll be right back with a big grip and grin. This fish is probably somewhere between 42 and 43 inches long. Uh, and he got it on, what, 30 pound tippet? Yep. On the hardy rod right there. So uh, a significant catch. I know it's not your longest fish with me on fly, but I know that's the heaviest. Definitely the heaviest. Definitely the heaviest. All right, one quick snapshot and we put him back in the water and revive him. Close to you, he's only 15 feet away. You're behind him. You might get him right there. Come on. That's better. Keep it down low. Keep little short strips, little short strips, little short strips. He got it. He got it. He got it. Yes. Now if you can just clear without losing them. <clears throat> try to stay out of this trouble here. Oh, look at that one. Oh, gone. Another one showed up. I'm the one after him. <clears throat> On the reel? We're going to go through a little gap here. Once I clear these canes, I'm going to put the power pole down. I think we can control him. I think we can control him. Power pole going down. Respectable. It's crazy in Florida, he might be the fish of the day. Uh huh. But not here. But not here. He's just one of many. All right. So he really likes it. I'm coming down. Right now. He, he, he really likes the uh, shrimp. shrimp. Coming down. I don't even see it anymore. Really sucked it down, huh? Oh yeah, he got it. He got that one deep. I can see it in his mouth, though. This is a much bigger fish than you think. Yeah. You're right, this would have been a this would have been Jim Dandy at home. I mean, let's we'll see. That's where their fly went. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get it out. Mouth's big enough to get my fingers all the way in there. Ta da! All right, that is a nice looking fish. You want a picture with him or in the drink? Yeah, in the drink's good. In the drink. Your water's super hot. Water's really hot. Whoa, off he goes. Get him, get him in, get him out, get him gone. That has been really whacking the fish, and that's why we call it the ugly 
This is the Grinch shrimp pattern. Uh, that was Dale's creation. And uh, it's just got enough, a little bit of everything. I told him I needed a fly that was close to four inches long, had to be a loud color, had to push water. And this was his creation. But hard to argue with the results. Ugly flies. Catch fish. Catch fish. I don't know. Kind of sank down in that glare. I can't see him now. Oh, I see him. He's further up. He's closer to the cane line. He's in the same line you're you're stripping, but he's further up. He must have zigged when we thought he zagged. I'll get you a little closer, Chief. I'm, I'm blind on him right now. Yeah, I don't see him either. I saw the stain where he ate something. Hmm. Hmm. Where'd you go, buddy? Here's another one on your right. He's at your two. 30, 30 feet, maybe. Not as big, though. Oh, he wants it. Keep. Good job. Good job. I'm putting the brakes on right here. Oh, there's a big one right here. Yeah. There. Oh, yeah. That right well, that's one way to make yourself feel bad for catching the small one is compare sizes. Wow, Dale. <laughs> Poor choice right there. Yeah, that was, a bad, myself, that was a bad choice. It's like, look, I caught the little one. <laughs> I caught the 25 inch one instead of the 35 inch one. Oh, man. Ugly fly syndrome right there, baby. Man, he wanted that. It's fun to watch the eat. Fun to watch the eat. Man, he got it too. All right. Oh, still pretty and healthy though. And fat. Let's be eating at the lodge.